Hello guys, wana Yesu asifiwe. Praise God. I hope and trust that you have been well in the Lord. The Lord has sustained you. The Lord has kept you. The Lord has been faithful to you. That he has fulfilled each and every desire that you have. He has kept you healthy. And we celebrate him kwa sababu. Yeye tundi wanaweza kufanya hayo mambo yote. We can rely on people. We can rely on our abilities. But only God can guarantee us the life that we are living in today. And today we are glad today as the Christ ambassadors of KAG Bahati. I would like to welcome you to our online service which the Lord has given us an opportunity to listen to his word this beautiful Saturday evening. Praise God. And today we'll be sharing from the book of Luke chapter number 18. This is a word that we have heard, a word that we have read, a word that we have had countless and countless of times but once again today i just want us to reflect on the same same one it is the story of the judge and the widow this is a story that jesus told his disciples on the importance of persistence in prayer and as we been reading i hope that tutasoma pamoja i'll start up with verses number one which says then jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. He said, in a certain town there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared what people thought. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with the plea, grant me justice against my accusers. Praise God. Verses number four it says, for some time he refused, but finally he said to himself, even though I do not fear God or care what people think, yet this widow keeps bothering me. I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually come and attack me. Verses number six. And the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God bring justice for his chosen ones who cry to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? I like how verses number 18 Amaliza in Asema, when Jesus Christ comes, the Son of the living God, will he still find people who believe in God? It's a challenge that we are urged. And it's a challenge for us, knowing that we are living in a world whereby it's so easy to lose your faith. It's so easy to let go of your salvation. But again, we remember that Jesus promised to come back. And when he comes back, he promised to come back for they that will have kept their faith. I know so many are facing so many, many challenges in this life. But... One thing that you should live looking forward to. Will you keep your faith when Jesus will be coming? Back to our story once again. We are told of a parable of a certain woman. Certain woman who had been denied justice. Certain woman who was looking for justice. And there was this judge who was so arrogant, who had so, so much pride. We are told that he did not acknowledge the presence of God. We are told that he never cared of what people thought, what people were saying. And this woman kept going to the same, same judge each and every day without getting tired. Praise God. Tunambua hakuwa anachoka. Baka ile siku judge mwenyewe alichoka na kumuona. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. This judge got tired of seeing this woman each and every day coming to him seeking justice. And then because her face was super familiar, one day he said that I need to stop seeing this mama for each and every day that I'm waking up. Because she's bothering me. Because she never ceases to come and seek and cry in my door. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And it is a challenge that... I know that it's difficult. There are people who come and present their prayers to God, but they pray one day, one, two days, and these people are tired. These people, they feel that they have done their best. And this particular evening that we are reminded through the test, test, testimony of this particular woman, the woman cried and pleaded at the judge's door each and every day until the judge one day woke up and said, if I do not serve her what she wants, she will keep coming and bothering me. She will keep 
coming and waking me up early in the morning. I will keep up seeing her each and every day. Bona Yesu asifiwe. Being a judge, we are, we know that his standards were super high. His status were super high. Bona Yesu asifiwe. But this woman did not care about that. She went for what she believed was hers. She went crying for what she knew was her rightful right to own, to get the justice. And then the judge served the woman justice. I thank the Lord because of this woman. This woman did not give up going to the judge each and every day. She did not say, She did not say that, She did not say that, Nimechoka kufanya hivi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kila siku hakuchoka. Alijitia nguvu akijua ya kwa kuna siku ya siku ambapo kile kitu walikuwa na kililia angepata. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And we thank the Lord because he, he is a faithful one. His word says that he is super super faithful. He is not like us that we lie. He, should, he will never and he has never lied. His word is true. His word is amen. His promises are fulfillable and he fulfills each and every promise that he has kept on our lives. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It's a challenge I'm giving you this evening that you are seeking God, yes. But how long is that seeking going to last? Hama wewe utakao seme, enough is enough. I know at times we get discouraged. Discourages will come. But are you still going to maintain that particular statute, that particular decision? That particular aim that you are going to seek God. Praise God. Wana Yesu asifiwe. Wana Yesu asifiwe. At times unaweza omba uone kama God ha come through. But nataka ni kuwa kikishie hii jioni ya kuwa. God anakusikia. Yeye ni muaminifu. Yeye anasikia maombi. Hakuna mwingine kama yeye. Ali kuwepo bado yupo na bado ata kuwepo. Yale mambo aliyafanya. Bado, bado ananguvu za kuyafanya. Hata leo hii. Wana Yesu asifiwe. We thank God because... Free of charge, he has given us salvation. Regardless of what we think that we have done, what we think that we did, iyo aiku mjalisha. Ile kitu limjalisha zaide ni ikuwa, hatizangu, yangu na yako, ikuwe kitu kisafi. Ikuwe na pendeleka ndani ya uwepo wake. Praise God. Na yeye ni muaminifu ya kuwa ukimuicha, yeye anasikia. Yeye ni muaminifu, ukimtafuta na yeye yupo. The word says that, no, and the door shall be opened unto you. Seek and you shall find. I don't know how many times that you are knocking in the knees of you as seeking God. Coming to knock in the presence of God. Mwambie Baba, my Lord, my Father. By grace, I'm your son. By grace, you have been given the opportunity to be part of your family. Bona Yesu asifiwe. It is by grace that the same, same standard that Jesus has been given in heaven we have been given ourselves to. Regardless of our shortcomings, regardless of our disabilities, regardless of what, what you may not achieve or achieve. Praise God. Sometimes you may be looking outside the world and seeing how people are driving, how people are celebrating. But I want to remind you of whatever belongs to this world remains for this world. The problems that you are seeing that as the issue, the problems that you are seeing that they are super, super heavy for you to handle. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Jambi, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. And I'm sure I have the guarantee because I have seen him come through. He will guarantee you and he will see you through. He will help you. Praise God. What would have happened if this woman did not seek what she thought was, was hers? Definitely and definitely she will live entirely all her life without the justice that she deserved. Without the heavy heart she will continue having each and every day. But we bless the Lord because of bringing this to us. This evening I'm speaking to someone who also may be feeling awezi, amefika muisho. Mtu mwenyana ona mambo ayaendi sawa. Mtu mwenye anaona kweli amejaribu wakashindwa. Mtu mwenye anaona kweli hii mlima ni mrefu sana. Nimekuwa nikiomba lakini I want to tell you push. 
keep praying until something happens. Push. Keep the fire burning. Keep the faith continuing. In continuous. Usiachilie imani kwa sababu mambo ya badiliki. Usiachilie imani kwa sababu nothing is happening. Praise God. Praise God. It will be so joyful when Jesus Christ comes. Hakikuja apate. My son, my daughter, ameshikilia the faith. My son and daughter, they've never let go of their faith. They got saved or may protect him money. But they were mishikilia. It will be celebrations. And you also will be celebrating because the Lord would have come and rescued us from our troubles. One I so if you we remember that there is a life that Jesus promised to go and prepare for us. And this life is for each and every one of us. Not a few. But anyone who chooses to believe. Anyone who chooses to abide by the teachings of, of God. Anyone who chooses to do and act as per Christ did. Those are the promises that will be fulfilled unto us all. So, if God, angikuwa yule mse wakuchagua, wengi wetu tungebaki. But kwa sababu yeye ni mungu na mambo yake siyo kama yetu na njia zake siyo kama zetu. Hame tupatia nafasi kila mmoja wetu. Ya kwa yeyote anaye muamini. Yeyote mwenye anasema, yes, you are my Lord. I have chosen to believe in you. I have chosen to trust in you. Mwana Yesu wa sifiwe. He will surely be your God. He will surely be your Father. He will surely guide you. He will surely show you the way. Mwana Yesu wa sifiwe. It will be joyous when Jesus comes and finds that tume shikili ya imani. Jesus did not promise a life that is challenges free. He did not say that it will be all blessings. It will not, he did not promise that it will be laughters and smiles all through. But he did not promise that it will be all blessings. in the times that tears are flowing through our chins. Ata in those times that you are facing the hardest of the hardest, he has promised to be with you. He has promised to enable you to overcome them. He has promised to strengthen you that you will be victorious. We are victors and victors in Jesus' name. And you can only be a victor when you have Christ. Sometimes you may have mtu anashinda na hana Christ. But that victory won't last. One victory that is assured that is eternal ni victory ya ukiwa na Christ. Anafanya mambo ya siyo wezikana. Anafupanua njia zisizo panukika. Anatufanyia maku ya maku ya maku yenye hata wale waku awezi tufanyia. Wana Yesu wa sifiwe. And we thank God because waminifu wake ni wamilele. And so my brothers and sisters, this evening I come to you. I beseech of you. That you have been praying. But your mind has been telling you, umeomba sana. You have been waiting. But you have been feeling that hii kungoja ni miongoja sana. Praise God. Remember that the Lord is still on the throne. The Lord is still faithful. The Lord is still doing his thing. The Lord is still performing miracles. The Lord is still doing wonders. And still your chance is yet to come. But it, the assurance that we have is still inakuja. Wewe tu ni ingoja. Ni ingoja kabisa. Kabisa. Yesu wakikuja kupate umemgoja. Yesu wakikuja hapate kweli umestaimili yote. Ya kuwa mapitwa ya mekuja ya mekuwacha. Kilio kimekuja kimekuwacha. Dorube imekuja imekuwacha. Wana Yesu wasifiwe. And I want to trust and believe with the people who feel like God is taking so long. God is super taking so long that he's not answering your prayers. One thing that I think about God is that we are reminded that he does not take our prayers for granted. We are told by the Bible that maombi yetu yanayekuwa katika chombo cha dhahabu waiting for the day of the day that the Lord will just 
pick it up and fulfill and deliver unto you. Praise God. Praise God. Let's believe and pray. Father Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord, we come to you, God. We thank you because you are a good God. You are a faithful God. You are an awesome God. Lord, we worship you and we celebrate of you. Kwa sababu hakuna mwingine kama wewe. Lord, we are reminded today that you are faithful. And just like the judge, regardless, hata kama hakuwa na kuwamini, hata kama hakuwa na jali, but aliweza kufanya na kumpa haki ule mjane. And Lord, still we come to you as your children, O oh God, trusting and believing that you are faithful, you are awesome, you are capable. I pray because of my brother or sister, O oh God, that may be, may be feeling that wameomba sana, wame trust sana, wame ngoja sana. Lord, remind them this evening that bado wewe ni mungu wao, bado wewe unawajali, bado wewe utawatendea. Hiyo ni akikisho yako ya kuwa hauta tuwacha. Hiyo ni akikisho yako ya kuwa utatutendea na ahadi zako ni za kweli mfalme wa mbingo. I pray for patience among believers, O oh God, that they will wait on you, O oh God, that they will fight to keep their faith in their lives, O oh God, that they will do everything and anything, O oh God, that will come their way, knowing and believing that, Lord, umewashikilia. May you help us, O oh God. I thank you because of each and every person who have come and tuned in today, O oh God. May you bless them, O oh God. May you walk with them, O oh God. And it is in the mighty name of Jesus that you have prayed, trusting and believing. Amen and amen and amen. May the Lord bless you, sana, sana, sana. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope and trust that, what dear God, bado ita keep burning in your hearts. What dear God, aita acha kuku speakia. And even as we are looking forward to start our new week, I want to welcome you to tomorrow Sunday services. Services ni tatu. Hapa hapa main church, KEG Nairobi Christian Center Bahati. Please welcome, join us as we are looking forward to worship the Lord together. Pana yesu asifiwe. And also remember each and every Monday from 5.30 all through to 7.10, we are having our youth prayers at the main sanctuary. Please do join us. It's always a wonderful time to come before the presence of the Lord to kimlete maumbi yetu bila kuchoka. Pana yesu asifiwe. And every Saturday, we have a wonderful time of Bible study as the youth. Kwanzia sanane mbaka sakumi na moja na nusu at the youth sanctuary. Please make your way to Kia Jibahati each and every Saturday. All young people, you are invited for this wonderful time. It's a wonderful time kupata kuspeak to share, kujadiliana, kusuwa dear God. Praise God, as we encourage one another. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hoping to see you tomorrow in church. May God bless you. Bye-bye.